Well, I bought this uh, infrared uh, thermometer from AliExpress for a total of $3.74. Uh, much cheaper than this one here, which I think was into the $30 to $40 range. But this was during the med middle of a certain time we'd all like to forget. So when using these, I'll be tearing this one apart. This one you have to scroll, oops, okay, I got it on object mode, there's 0.5 of a difference, they're bang on, obviously that white surface was affecting them, or at least this one, so, now, I'm going to take this one apart. Uh, this one here, though, you can actually see the... There you go. They've got the thermo pile uh, way down there with the lens over it. They've got the concentric uh, circles around it. I suspect that is just to keep uh, ambient noise or light coming in from the side out. Whereas this one, very shiny in there. Uh, but it's actually a fair amount deeper. But this one gets to be taken apart. So, now let's pop the batteries. And I bought this in uh, Mailbag 42-ish, which I did last week. So it's got one screw here. And time to start popping. So, time to disassemble it. I probably have to pop that piece out first. Or not. Now, that don't want to come out. I've already got the screw out there. Get that piece out of the way. Sounds good. A few more pops. And it all falls apart. Presto. So we've got a trigger here, the battery compartment, a sensor here. Pull it up. Ooh, it's actually got a chip in there versus a blob. Hey, this is looking promising. Okay, let's take this apart. There's the little switch there. Double check that the camera's on. Oh, this thing's actually quite nice. It's uh, got uh, connectors. And let's see. Oh, it's got a screw there to take out. And I'm amazed they've got actually connectors in this thing. There we go. Now, let's see. No, I can't see any uh, writing on it. It's being erased. But give me a little time to take a look at this. So I've removed the four screws. And okay, there's a zebra strip at this end. And I don't want to disconnect it because I've had zero success. Uh, reconnecting stuff. Looking in here though, there's no chips other than maybe, oh yeah, there's an LED, uh, probably a backlight uh, here. And that's about it. So there's the only component. 
The rest is just the tracks. So now let's get down to what I can draw the schematic. So what we have here, and I did do some testing before I undid those screws, since I knew it could be a one-way trip. Uh, we have a diode here. It's an M4, uh, 400 volt uh, silicon rectified uh, one amp uh, diode. And I'll show it on the schematic in a moment. We have our no-name chip here, which has got 48 uh, leads to it. We have our invisible chip here, which I guess they figured they didn't need. Uh, we have some capacitors, some resistors. We have over here uh, J3Y, which is an S8050 uh, NPN uh, transistor. So, let, and then of course we have these connectors. Amazing that there's connectors on this. Yeah, had to cough. Uh, over here we have um, the thermal pile. There's a couple leads for it. And we have an NTC for measuring the background uh, temperature. So let's get down to the schematic. Okay, we have the mystery chip. Now this is only a partial schematic because I couldn't see the stuff on the other side of the board. But we have power in. Capacitor one, capacitor number two, across it uh, for smoothing. We have the diode D1, the M4. Uh, that's so if the polarity is accidentally reversed, uh, it saves the rest of it. Of course, there's no fuse, so I'm not too sure how well this would come out. We have from the... Put this in here. The connector over here, it goes out to the, okay, edited in there a bit. Um, on the connector here, we go out to our NTC. It comes in and then it promptly jumps to the other side of the board. Uh, the connector, uh, J3, also has the thermal pile positive, thermal pile negative, and it then goes, for the negative, it goes to a resistor to ground. Another resistor that disappears on the si other side of the board. Then there's a smoothing capacitor between uh, thermal pile positive and negative. And then it over goes over to pins 2 and 3. Uh, let's see. The on-off uh, button basically comes in. Uh, then pops straight over to the other side. Uh, there's anything that's popping to the other side I can't follow. Now, let's see the buzzer. Hey, at least that part we do have. From uh, pin 38, which appears to be connected to the positive of the power. It comes out. There's a soothing uh, capacitor going over to pin 40, and then it disappears under the board. From here, it goes down to resistor R7 to the buzzer positive, which then comes down to here. And we have the NPN. So here the collector, here's the emitter, here's the base. Uh, the base or the emitter goes to ground. Uh, the base goes to R6 which is connected to pin 16, way over here. So when this thing is turned on, uh, or turned off, essentially, there's actually uh, 6.4 microamps uh, going, nope, turned off, it's going 0 0.4 microamps uh, constantly being drawn from the battery. As soon as you turn it on, it pops up to 6.4 milliamps. And when the buzzer goes off, it's drawing 21 plus uh, milliamps. So essentially it uh, turns this on, makes noise. And the rest of it's kind of hidden. Uh, all of these in here 
and all of these here go straight underneath the board probably going to, uh, most of it to the zebra strip for the push buttons let me pull this up what they do on that one is when you push the button it pulls whichever pin it's connected to in this case uh one of them go pin two on here uh goes under uh, i didn't find where it came out uh, pin three and four go to uh, let's see pin four goes to pin uh, nine of here pin three goes to pin ten of here so essentially push button and it connects uh, those pins to ground uh, what else can i say about this lovely thing not much uh, it is well built though and at three dollars and 74 cents the fact that this thing actually had uh connectors etc that's not bad now what i'm planning on doing to this thing is making a mount this is going to be my cheap um infrared uh, detect detector or temperature detector is I'm going to mount a thing in here like that. Probably use some wood, just drill a hole through, pull it out, mount this on it like that. And then that way I can push the button, hold the thing literally right above the part that I want to check and uh, see what the temperature is. And if I can figure out how to get it to where I can just cycle it every, say, uh, five or ten seconds uh, to get another reading. Oh, great. And if I get all that put together, I'll uh, do a short video. So that's about it for this thing. Uh, it is well built. Um, the fact that there's any screws in this thing is amazing. And the connectors, as said before, that's unbelievable. So... Have a good day. <laughs> Bye.